Hi guys, this is Just. I just wanted to let you guys know really quick that I came down with a bad case of strep and so I wasn't able to come in mid-month and give you guys those readings. But I'm coming in now because I'm feeling a little bit better and I want to give you a weekly from the 9th to the 15th. And so I'm using my own spread and therefore I won't be showing the cards, but I hope you guys like them and I hope they still resonate for you for the week. Now, on to your reading. Hi Capricorn, this is Jess with your 2016 weekly reading for the 9th and 15th. I hope you guys had a good week. Let's get on to your reading. I see that there's change here, change that needs to happen, but, but you guys are trying to delay it as much as possible. I feel for those of you that um, has discovered a certain situation or something kind of happened out of the blue you saw it coming you knew it was coming um for those of you that did not see this coming you landed on your feet it wasn't as bad as it could have been and it just gave you an opportunity to clearly see that hey i need to move forward i feel like at some point you guys were feeling or are still feeling a bit stuck let me let you know that the energies right now have you in a sense of of blockage you're dealing with a bit of block blockage now the reason why you're being blocked because there's someone in your life okay be it relationship or otherwise that you need to get rid of immediately you need to get rid of that person they don't mean you any good i feel like there's someone for you capricorn women this could possibly be a love interest could be an aquarius gemini libra doesn't have to be under those signs but it's someone that is extremely intellectual and right now he's being verbally abusive and manipulating this is someone that you once felt very stuck you were unwilling to see the reality of a situation i feel that there's been something some things that has been um, revealed to you that allows you now to see things clearly well, you will be seeing things clearly as a result of things that has become uh, clear to you. I feel that this relationship is, is one that you have have a karmic relationship with. So this is someone that you feel bound by to an extent. No, I do not have a, a the devil card, but I do have the five of pentacles. And that tells me that this is a relationship where no matter what, in, as bad as it, as it could get, you still want to stay with it. The problem with that is, is that you're being blocked to be able to move forward, to be able to have your abundance, to be able to gain the things that you're working so hard to gain because of this relationship and its toxicity. Now, that is for those of you that that applies to. For you Capricorn men and for women that this does not apply to, I feel that there's someone could be in your work life, in your home life with the same circumstance. There is an energy around you guys that you're dealing with someone that is creating an air of lack. Okay. There's someone in your life that is being extremely, extremely manipulating and controlling. Okay. And this can be at home. This can be at work. This can be in your love life. This can be in any area of your life. Someone where you're feeling less than and you're feeling as if you don't have any hope and or and you're feeling helpless. OK, that's how you're feeling coming into this week. As the month progresses, things will change. Things will change, but the change could happen a lot quicker if you detach yourself from whatever this energy is. OK, because it's putting you in a sense of lack, which is slowing down your process. But as the month goes on, you guys have an amazing opportunity to reestablish yourself. And I feel like get yourself out of this financial crisis that you're in. Do not sit around and try to portray yourself to be someone that you're not. Financially, if you're having problems, be honest with yourself. You have all of the tools possible to reestablish yourself financially and to gain the abundance that you have. If you're dealing with someone that is hindering that for you, find the best way to mitigate that because you will be able to, as the month progresses, you will be able to get to a point where now you've gained control again, you no longer feel helpless, and you're making plans moving forward to 
get to this abundance because at the end of it, you have the world card. So you definitely will be accomplishing things. Uh, you will put a, the you will put the negativity behind you. There will be an ending of that cycle and you will start anew. A hundred percent, you will be starting a new cycle. And I feel like you guys will feel very happy. OK, um, and you will you'll finally get your footing. And I want to say from like this is going to go, I think, for a lot of you into June. So don't expect this to be happening in the month of May because I don't see that. I definitely see it happening around the 4th of June and, and onward as far as things really kind of taking a better turn, a better course for you guys. Um, so what, by the beginning part of June and forward, things will start to shift in a better direction. And it has it probably has a lot to do with Mercury being retrograde as well. You know, that you're dealing with someone that's just being a total, you know, um, stew and just and just being, you know, quite abusive to you, quite abusive to you. Uh, so, again, just to wrap it up, I, you guys have a great opportunity to make some changes. Changes is on the way. Um, it is very slow in coming for those of you who are having some financial difficulties Oh, you're just feeling a sense of lack. You know, you have to really ask yourself, do you have lack? Are you really being, um, are you, are you, are you being grateful? Are you showing a sense of gratitude for the things that you have? Are you being realistic with yourself as far as, um, not feeling as though you don't have, because I do see where you have a great opportunity, great opportunity to have these things. And you no longer are not, you're no longer keeping yourself blinded by the realities of things. You've taken the blindfolds off or you will be, and you're moving forward. So you have an opportunity for that to happen. It's going to happen. It just will, you will determine when it starts to happen. Okay. So I see by June 4th, some of you will have that happening by then. But for those of you who are, who are saying, well, that never happened for me. And I do relate with this, this message. Ask yourself, are you doing what you need to do to move forward? Are you letting things go like you're supposed to? Are you really taking ownership of what you have and what you can gain? And are you putting those plans into action? So... Uh, that's my reading for you guys. I hope this resonated with you. I know it does with someone because the cards came out so clear. And I don't, I also want to point out, um, none of my cards were reversed. And when I did your reading and none of them have been reversed for the other signs that I've done. Uh, and when I've done your readings, I got reversals, particularly, um, eight of swords reversed, um, tower reverse, death card reverse. Okay, and the eight of um, wands reverse. Okay, so it is an opportunity for there to be change. There's blockages and changes happening. I feel it has a lot to do with you. I also pulled the king of pentacles, and that is you, and it was reversed. So that is you kind of standing in your own way. I want you guys to really take heed to this message so that you can make the appropriate changes. And I hope that this resonates with you. Please leave me a comment below. If it does, you're also welcome to click the thumbs up button if you don't have time. And I will check in with you guys next week. Take care.